Hello Epic7. At the end of the last Hall of Trials video, I asked if anybody had any clever ideas for how to do this week's Hall of Trials to send them to me and you did not disappoint. I received a link to a video by Fuyumi posted on Twitter of a clever team using Horizon Acades. Now, I don't have Horizon Acades, and I went to bed kind of sad about that because I really wanted to make this team. But this morning I woke up, I did a single galaxy summon, and out she popped. So now I get to make a video about it. So I quickly put together my resources and built a standard Horizon Acades. I don't know what everyone else is building, but I feel like this is a pretty decent start for leftover gear. So let's jump back into Hall of Trials real quick and see what this team can do. Once again, here's my Horizon Acades. I don't want to change the build around. I think I will change one or two things. She doesn't need the imprint because she has 200% ER already, and this artifact doesn't really help, so I'm going to swap it out to Celestine to help keep her alive. Now if I switched her speed boots out for HP main boots to slow her down, I think this would have been an even higher scoring team, but I don't want to change gear. So I'm going to use my standard Zealot Carmen Rose. This is the one that I use in Light Expeditions, no change here. You could change Kaladra out for the Hall of Trials artifact. It's slightly more attack, but this should work good enough. So we go in and press auto. So at the start of the fight, Nilgal does his attack. We didn't take any debuffs, so Katie's just uses her S2 and puts a barrier up. So we didn't get the speed buff. Katie's cleanses. And cleanses again. And now we enter the break phase with our attack buff up. And there's the speed buff, we're doing double hits. Akades is just wasting some turns. I did try this with Green Sid, I just couldn't keep him alive all the way to the end. Um, Carmen Rose is still the best for this. Poison Bomb goes off. Look at all those debuffs. And just like that, they're gone. We've got a crit damage buff and an immunity buff, so we're doing a lot of really good damage. You have nothing to worry about now. And there's the S3 and another poison bomb. Tons of debuffs. Let's see what they get turned into. Come on, greater attack buff. Hey, we got greater attack buff. So we're into the break phase with greater attack buff, which will get extended by one round when Carmen Rose does her S... Oh, shoot, our S3 is not ready. Bye-bye, greater attack buff. That would have been nice to keep. But we still maintain the attack buff. It really doesn't matter what the buffs get turned into. It's just fun to see big numbers proc. I ran this a half dozen times to be sure. It always got triple S plus. We're up to 4 million, 4.2. Cleanse and a push. We're exiting the break phase at 4.2. A couple of times I exited at 4.5. A couple attacks, and we get rid of all of those poisons and turn them into lots of buffs. There's a gab and a great and a destruction buff, a crit damage buff. Extra hit with the speed. Yes, two CR pushes her up, so she takes yet another turn. Don't strip my gab. Don't strip my gab. I strip my gab. Man, they're just not letting me have any fun with these big numbers. S3 is not ready, but the S2 gives us a barrier. Stop stripping my attack buff, you stupid egg sacks. 
Okay, one last S3, and we got all the buffs. There's a Gab in there, there's a Destruction buff in there, and we clear it easily, triple S plus. 5.5 million with a full clear. I've been as high as 6, my lowest one was 5.2. No matter how you slice it, a pretty easy triple S plus team. Hope this helps those of you who are looking for a fast, efficient auto team. If you have any questions, ask them in the comment section. And as always, like and subscribe. Have a great one, everybody.